All right, guys. Can you see my screen here? Clear, good. My check, my check. Audio. Hey, what's going on, guys? So my name is Ipe. Uh, I'm somebody that's been making passive income on the internet since 2014. Today, I'm going to react to Mickelson Twins um, <clears throat> selling Audible uh, on Amazon Kindle. This course, I'm going to react to it. I'm going to give you guys my two cents, my pros and cons. And <clears throat> I'm going to compare it to my favorite business model, which is local lead generation. And I'm going to, yeah, basically somebody as somebody that's been making money on the internet consistently for the last eight years uh today i make over seven figures every year on the internet i have a lot of experience when it comes to different online business models so i i think you guys will really enjoy hearing my insight as what i think about this kindle business model approachable and proven way okay so this is what I believe to be the most user-friendly way to create income online in your spare time that I've ever seen, bar none, okay? Plus, this is backed by the power of Amazon, okay? That's how legit this is. So, enough chit-chat. Let's jump into my screen here. Amazon is also super competitive, so it's not a it's like a it's like a war zone, you know? It's it's not a place where I want to really compete in unless you have a superior product, but that, that's kind of difficult to create a superior product for most people. Uh, we don't have, you know, we don't have special connections to suppliers in China, um, so it's very difficult. Obviously, this course is not about selling physical products. It's about creating digital audiobooks. And the only reason I can make such a bold claim like this is simply because we've seen it. We've had over 2,000 verified people make money <clears throat> with this exact system. Obviously, all these courses will use testimonials to try to validate its results. But the question you want to ask is how long-term are these results? Because any, any program can pr create success, one win, two wins. But if the business model gets saturated over time and you stop producing income after two, three years, then it's not an actual real business model just want to make a little extra cash this here's Karush. he's 61 just started retirement and he's now making a few thousand dollars a month with this and he just started it okay then there's guys like patrick he was living in the hood making 500 bucks a month all he could afford to eat was rice and beans okay let's first establish the fact that amazon is the best place for everyday people to make money online it's it's just a fact 40 percent of every dollar spent on the internet goes to amazon that is absurd. So trying to make money online without the help of Amazon, I like to say is like using a banana as a hammer. It just doesn't make sense. It's silly. Like, what are you doing? Amazon is also super competitive. That's why I don't like to compete on Amazon. Most people do. But there are a lot of obstacles that come along with that. And I say that from experience. I like local lead generation because I can rank websites in local Google search engine. And I don't have to compete with you know, hundreds of other, you know, book publishers, or if you're selling physical products on Amazon, it's even more difficult, right? I don't have to compete with big suppliers from overseas when I'm, when I'm ranking sites in the local Google search engine. I'm only competing with like 10 to 15 local uh, companies and local businesses. Far less competition than what you're dealing with even selling audibles on Amazon. So much shockingly better that, as you can see here, it was making me ten to twenty thousand dollars in a single month take home after just a few months. And how is this possible? Well, it sure as hell wasn't with physical products. It was because of what we call Amazon digital products. Okay, a digital product is, as it sounds, a product that only exists digitally and on the internet. And because of that, you can get started with it for as little. Yes, I'm also a huge fan of selling digital products. It's, you know, higher profit margins. You don't have cost of goods. You don't have to hold inventory. Uh, this is why I also like local lead generation because it's all digital. You know, leads are digital. We don't have any inventory. We don't have to buy or we don't have, you know, to scale the business. It's much easier, right? Digital products, you can infinitely scale or you can infinitely duplicate. Passive income to start with that he's ever found. And in his third month, he was already getting paid over $6,000 per month. And the way this works actually goes back to the way Amazon began as a company, that there is Jeff Bezos. 
those income reports are cool, but obviously it's not all net profit. Amazon's taking their feeds. So I'm curious to know what the actual net profit is. It's uh, certainly not the top line. Uh, local lead gen, you know, when I say the, my sites make anywhere from 500 to $2,000 per month, that's pretty much 95% profit margin. Digital books, digital books like eBooks, audio books, and even what I call print on demand books. And these digital books are uploaded to Amazon by digital publishers. Okay. That's what we are. Digital publishers. So listen, all we're doing is uploading these simple eBooks onto Amazon and making Amazon sell them for us. Now, if you're thinking, but Christian, I'm not a writer. I'm not an author. That's totally fine. Neither am I. Okay. There's zero writing involved. None at all. There's also no cover design. None of the traditional things. I believe what they teach you is hiring a ghostwriter. We do it. We get others to do that part for us. The creation of it, we stay out of it. The problem with um, using a ghostwriter is that you're not going to ever produce a book that is super high quality. So you're not actually solving a real problem in the marketplace, which means if an actual author comes that's a true expert and writes a far better book than you, you're going to get outranked over time. So I don't think these digital books will, s will s stay profitable over the long term when you're using a ghostwriter. Into reliable passive income machines that can produce huge life-changing monthly profits years and years after you upload them. And it can work in dozens of niches, thousands of different topics, again, without knowing anything about the topics themselves. What used to cost hundreds of dollars can now be done for practically nothing. And a lot of the work you, you used to have to do can now be fully automated, all thanks to AI. Okay, there is no better business model suited for AI automation on the planet than this. Because what used to be the hardest part in the process, which was creating that book that you upload onto Amazon, is now the easiest part and the most fun. Because AI can help do that for you. The problem with this method of using AI or ghostwriters is that you're you're kind of creating a book out there that has generic information. How long term could these books actually sell? Especially when it's like an AI written book. A lot of these subjects you can easily YouTube it, you can easily Google search and find a lot of in free information out there. So a spy tool like Bookbeam, Katie Spy. That's what's going to allow us to spy on the competition and see exactly how much money other books are making. That way we can reverse engineer it and create our own version of these already proven and successful topics, right? The problem with the reverse engineering method is when other students reverse engineer your book, uh, it just becomes more saturated and competitive over time. One or two books that are doing well. We want to see nearly every book on that topic to be making good money. That way we can be certain that if we just make our own version of it, we can get similar results. Makes sense, right? So what I just want to share here is a few topics to get the wheels turning for you that we absolutely love. A few of these we've done ourselves, had a ton of success <coughs> with, but this is just scratching the surface, okay? This first one here, at-home workouts for seniors. And this can be five, six, seven topics by itself. We see here five-minute balance exercises generating over $450 a day in royalties. That's not in sales. <clears throat> That's take home what's going in your pocket. Okay. There's chair yoga for seniors, wall Pilates. This is a niche we've had a ton of success with that we love. Okay. Another one is recipe books, but specifically recipe books for kids. Books for here, a few of these generating into the thousands of dollars per day. And what I love about recipe books is just how simple they are to create. Books for seniors make sense because seniors aren't used to using YouTube and online searches, so they're gonna still buy audiobooks or books. Um, recipe books for kids make sense because parents are gonna buy books for their kids. And thousands of dollars per month. If you're the owner of just one of these, listen, like you're set. That replaces most people's income with one of these. Spanish for adults also makes sense because, you know, these people that are studying another language would want a book instead of like always having to do different searches on the on the Internet. Thousands and thousands more of topics exactly like this. But like, uh, you know, when these people are targeting books for like these specific targeted categories, like it's going to get saturated because all these other students are going to try to c create the same similar books as you. He is that 
there's a topic for you. Richard here is an older guy. He thought making money online was not in the cards for him. He came to us. We helped him find a great topic for him on a topic that he loves, gardening. And now his one book in its first year generated over $35,000 in income for him. Pretty awesome, right? So that right there covers the entire first step. We are one fourth of the way through, okay? So first step is to choose a topic following those three keys. Step number two is to automate your book. And here's here's where I have concerns with this business model. It's so easy to create an AI generated book. There's not that much barrier to entry. Other people can come in and do a similar thing as you. The reason why I like local lead generation is it actually takes actual skill and some time to create these actually these websites that rank at the top of Google. So it's a lot more, there's a lot more barrier to entry, which means you have a business model that's a lot more long term. Uh, once you create these websites, they actually keep generating consistent income for you for years and years to come. With these books, my concern would be how long will they stay profitable on till somebody else uses the exact same spy tool to come in and, and create a similar book like mine. And I'm now, it slashes my income in half or I get outranked and I stop getting sales. Sell on Amazon, okay? We tried the different AI tools, but nothing was able to deliver the quality that we needed for our books. When I'm looking into a business that that I want it to sustain me long term. I'm not looking for a business model that it's so easy for anybody to jump into. I actually want a business that has true barrier to entry. There's an actual challenge or difficulty into getting into this business, which local lead generation has because not everybody knows how to rank a website in Google. With guys, like this stuff is amazing. Completely amazing. This saves you weeks of time eliminates you know tons of smashing your head against the wall and makes this an extremely seamless process you see which means there's going to be a lot more competition that you're going to be dealing with showed you it's still just in beta so there's nothing here to sell you our focus with it right now is just to make it the best that it possibly can so we are looking for a few people to beta test this thing here's wh where i get annoyed with this make money online kind of space is because you got all these like course creators that promise a business model to be super easy because it's targeting people that don't have an entrepreneurial mindset. It's targeting, you know, majority of you guys that have no business background that it's working a nine to five. So you want to hear a business model because you have, you guys have no confidence in creating an actual business, right? So you want to hear these people tell you that this is a very, very, very easy business to get into. This is what sale sells. But coming from me, somebody that's been in this business, online business space for the last eight years, you do not want a business that is so easy that anybody else can do because that is a business that ultimately will get saturated very quickly. And once the business gets saturated, that business <laughs> becomes more difficult than other businesses to keep it afloat. Literally one to two weeks. But like I've said, if you want to do this, an act in a true successful business is a business that is actually difficult for the average person to get into. That is the business that you want to invest your time and energy into developing that specific skill set. Activity books, coloring books, these are still niches that can generate hundreds and thousands of dollars per month that you can make yourself completely for free just by following a template. But the recommended approach I'm telling you is to use a ghostwriter because this is an investment that doesn't stop paying you. Now let's get into step number three, which is where we upload our book onto Amazon. And this step is so crucially, critically important. So I need you to follow along right now. And this step, this is why our method works right here. This is why our method gets your book selling instantly from the moment it's uploaded. Okay. Delara here, her first book generated over $10,000 in its very first month. And the way it works is it's all about letting Amazon do the selling for you. It's all about reviews. Did you know Amazon actually invented the five-star review system? Now it's everywhere, but they were the ones that literally started it. What happens is 
when you get reviews on your book, it creates this unstoppable momentum that I call the snowball effect. So you get reviews, that signals to Amazon, okay, let's promote this book. When they promote your book, you make sales. The more sales you make, the more opportunity for reviews, the more signaling you tell Amazon, hey, promote this book, more sales, reviews, and the cycle continues. This right here is the core of why the one upload method works. It's all about giving Amazon what it wants and just letting them do all the work. And the great thing is we have a method that floods in real reviews from real people and most importantly is fully compliant with Amazon. And then this in turn forces Amazon practically to promote your book. You see what I'm saying? So the review method that we invented is called the gift book method. You know what makes a great gift? A book, especially a new book that hasn't been released before. So how it works is you just give out your book for free and there's easy methods to get in front of hundreds of people just dying to get a free book. All you ask in return is, hey, all I want is just an honest review. And because you gifted your book to them, they almost feel indebted to you. So you almost always only get four and five star reviews. That's the great thing about it. The strategy of getting reviews is, um obviously reviews is going to be most important on Amazon to, to rank your listing. And so, uh, yeah, if you give away free books, you might, you know, it's a good, good strategy to trying to get reviews. However, if your book is still not incredible, um, you're going to be, it's going to be difficult to get reviews like long term. And if you, if the book is not great, um, because you use the ghostwriter and it's actually, you know, it's an information that is kind of generic and you can find anywhere. You're not going to get, people might buy your book, but they might never post a review. So yeah, I, I, I can see if you target certain book categories that doesn't have a lot of reviews, you can, you can, you know, give away a bunch of free books and initially to have more reviews than the other listings and you might be able to succeed. But as more and more students do this business model and, and more and more ca book categories have, you know, 50 to hundred reviews, it's going to be challenging to outrank a lot of those, a lot of those books just by doing a book giveaway strategy in order to have a book that actually has a, a lot of reviews. It actually needs to be a, a very, very high quality book, which is going to be difficult for any student to create if you're not a, an, if you're not a true expert on that subject. And the bundle itself is completely free to make. It's free money. So this is how you create a lot of income streams and virtually eliminate risk. Guys, to this day, I've never seen anything like this. Something that is so safe to start and there's never been a better time to do it yourself thanks to how easy AI makes all of this by automating so much of the process so that literally anyone can tap into this and use it to create. He didn't think it was possible, but he simply just gave it a shot. And now he Okay, so <clears throat> the rest of the webinar, he kind of shows more testimonials. Um, few things before I end this video that I want to touch on about this business model. Now, in order to be successful, have a successful, you know, business, you need certain competitive advantages, right? You need something like a hack. You need something that separates your business, your business model from anybody else. So in this publishing business, some of the hacks that Mickelson twins are utilizing and what they're teaching their students that allow them to have this level of success are uh, being able to produce books really quickly, leveraging AI to create the outline of the book and then hiring a ghost writing company to write the chapters out for you. That allows you to produce a book much faster than if you were to try to write a book on your own. It also allows you to write a book on any topic, regardless of your expertise, because you're using ghostwriters to write the topic for you. That is the hack. Um, but the problem with books in general is that first, it's low ticket. So one of the categories they recommended is like exercise book for seniors. 
I mean, as you can see, each book sells for like fourteen, fifteen dollars, and Amazon is going to take their fees. Um, so, which means you have to sell a lot of these books to make any decent income. Um, which means you need a lot of traffic, and to get a lot of traffic on Amazon is not easy because there's all these other competitors trying to produce the same kind kinds of books. Uh, to get a lot of traffic, you need a book that has more reviews than anybody else uh, that that allows you to rank at the top of the Amazon search engine. Now, getting a lot of reviews for your book written by ghostwriters, in my opinion, is going to be difficult long term because, yeah, they have a strategy of giving out free books initially to get get reviews from people. However, you have to still pay for the paperback to give out those books and you might be able to get like 50 reviews, maybe even 100. But as you can see at the top of the search engine, search engine, you have books that have, you know, over 400 reviews. This one has 100. This one has 200. So this one has 400. This one has close to 400. So, um yeah, reviews are everything on Amazon. And I find I that's the concern with this business model is like leveraging ghostwriters. Can you really produce a spectacular book that's going to get continually get reviews over time? I'm not sure because some of these books are written by an actual author that has some sort of, you know, positioning and some sort of fame in that niche, right? So the truth is selling, creating a book that sells a lot long-term, like these people do a lot of promotion for that specific book, such as going on different podcasts, such as um, creating a YouTube channel, uh, doing social media and positioning yourself as the expert within that niche to be able to sell uh, a particular book so a, a large volumes of that book with this strategy, you're not doing any of that, right? So I don't think you'll be able to create a book that can dominate the rankings with high reviews, unless you pick a certain niche that doesn't have that much reviews, which is possible that th these opportunities do exist, but just keep in mind as more and more people uh, jump into this business model, um, you're going to be competing with other students that are doing the same thing. So, Again, it's cool that today leveraging AI and ghostwriters, you can crank out books like this uh, and you don't even have to write a single word. However, the fact that it's easy for anybody else to do gives it a concern of how long term and sustainable is this business when other people can do the same thing that you you just learned to do. So again, um, the longevity of this business model is a bit of a concern. Now, the reason why I like my business model of local lead generation is that you don't have to compete with thousands of other students that learn the same trick as you just did. You know, with local legion, there's 500,000 different cities that you can go into just in the U.S. alone. And in each city, there's 50 different niches from plumbing, towing, uh, roofing services. So, and there's also different countries that you can go into as well. This business model works globally. And on top of that, each website makes a lot more money because it's a lot more high ticket. So each website is going to make anywhere from 500 to $2,000 a month. And honestly, I feel like it's a lot easier to create a lead gen website than producing a whole book. So you can scale the lead gen business faster in my opinion because with a lead gen business, um, you don't have to worry about getting hundreds of reviews just to rank. We have our own strategies of ranking in Google, which is much easier than having to rely on reviews. So all in all, I think this, you know, book strategy, this book business could work to make money, but I just don't feel like it's an actual business because you're relying on so many other factors that's outside your control. Like you're relying on Amazon you're relying on other competitors not creating a, a similar book as you just created. Um, there's so many other variables that are, like for example, on Amazon, they easily 
will recommend other books on the on the same page. So it's a platform that's very very competitive. Like Amazon doesn't really care for your book to be the best seller. I'm all Amazon cares about is. <clears throat> giving the user the best book possible. So can you truly create the best book possible using ghostwriters? I'm just not sure if how sustainable that is. Now with local Legion feels more like your own very own business because you own the website, you own the digital phone numbers, you control everything. I just feel like it's more sustainable long-term because you're not having to compete with thousands of other book publishers. So, um, if you want more information on the local lead generation business model, I have a link in the description. I have a webinar on the next page. I spent a lot of time and money producing this webinar and it's going to tell you, you know, A through Z, everything that is, uh, what makes local lead generation business, uh, a very special online business. And it's going to give you some information about our coaching program as well. All right. See you guys later.